This royal icing for piping recipe was given to me by Beatrice Miller, internationally renowned master sugar artist from Innisfil, Ontario. Royal icing for piping is smoother, a bit more fluid and more elastic than regular royal icing. Sift two and a half cups of icing sugar to remove any lumps. This will keep your piping tip from becoming clogged later on. Whisk half a teaspoon of gum arabic into the icing sugar. The gum arabic makes the icing more elastic. Lightly beat two eggs. Mix in half a teaspoon of glucose or white corn syrup. The corn syrup makes the icing less brittle. Mix thoroughly for a minute or so. Add a couple of teaspoons of water, mix it in quick, and then the icing sugar. Mix on slow for a minute or so. If the icing seems too thick, add water slowly until it looks rich and smooth. I usually end up adding about one more teaspoon of water. On medium speed, mix for about seven minutes. The icing should end up with soft peaks, like this. You don't want it too thick. Your hands should not be cramping when you're piping. One extra step to make sure there are no lumps, load the icing into a nylon sock and squeeze it through. It's a bit messy, but definitely worth it. Personally, I store my royal icing in a Ziploc bag. I snip off the end and pipe the icing into the piping bag. Keeps everything neat and tidy. And with a little clip on the end, it keeps it airtight. Hope this video was helpful and any questions, you can leave them in the comments. Thanks.